right, Tony, hold it together. Hold it together. You can do it. You don't have to make a fat joke. You don't have to make a fat joke. Hey everybody, it's Tony with Big T Bariatric and I'm back at you with another video. It's Friday, June 16th. I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. If you could do me a huge favor, please subscribe to my channel, leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know what you think about this video. So today we're doing a compilation of Jamie Weisberg videos and let's just say she is not one of the best fat examples out there, but she tries to be. She puts herself out there as an expert on all things eating disorders and everything else and she falls way 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 short of having any type of knowledge when it comes to anything when it comes to fat acceptance she's just one of the worst people out there honestly and you know she has used the n-word she has said some nasty things about her sister with cancer and even told her something like you know who's healthy now and it's just ridiculous she is a horrible horrible person but i'm not going to get into that i'm not going to get into her personal stuff and dig into all that but i am going to talk about the fat acceptance side I'm going to talk about the eating disorder side because she claims to have an eating disorder and we're going to call all that out All right, so let's get into the first clip right now Things that I wouldn't do if I went back into inpatient and ED recovery Mentality, there is no look to being sick I am not sick based on my body size and I deserve treatment regardless of how I look Number two, I deserve to advocate for myself. Even if it means needing extra space, I deserve to take up space. Number three, if I need more food to feel satiated and it's different from everyone else, I'm going to advocate for it. I'm not going to keep quiet. I'm not going to keep my mouth shut. I deserve to nourish myself and that looks different on everyone. Friends in recovery and in treatment is not going to be my priority. I'm there for me and I have to put myself first. We're with a bunch of sick people, and sometimes it can be more harmful than helpful. It is really good to have a good support system, but my recovery comes first. I'm not going to wait till it's too late or my symptoms are too bad to ask for help. I don't want to let it get to that point, and I'm going to ask for help right away. As much as it is painful, it's more painful to stay sick. So first off the bat here, she says that her size doesn't indicate that she's sick. And that's a complete lie right there. Because at the size that she is, she is totally sick. Sick in the head, she's sick in the body. There's just so much wrong with her that she doesn't even realize it. She thinks that she has some sort of eating disorder in terms of like anorexia, but she does have an eating disorder in terms of obesity. She just eats so many calories and she scarfs it down and then she just acts like, oh, I, I don't eat a lot. I, I have this problem and I'm in recovery and I just I just need help with my eating disorder and my anorexia. Oh, and just because I'm big, it, it doesn't mean I don't have anorexia. My body size doesn't mean anything. Really? Really? You're going to go with that? That's a farce and you know it, Jamie. If you're big, it's because you're eating an abundance of calories, not because you're not eating enough. She's really buying into this whole test holiday, I have an eating disorder thing. I always thought that I overate. But then people in my life would say, oh yeah, I eat more than Tess. And it was almost like I wore it as a badge of honor. I mean, there's videos and pictures that she's put online from when she was a kid and she was overweight then and she's overweight now. You promised the world and I fell for it. She has never suffered with anorexia. Never. She's struggling with an eating disorder. Again, it's because she's eating way too much food. That's the kind of recovery she needs to be in. But as we'll see in another clip, she absolutely is another one of those people who thinks that, you know, trying to restrict calories is a really bad thing. So, so that's the thing she's saying she is recovering from. This whole fact that she needs to lose weight and so she restricted her calories to do that and lost some weight at a certain time in her life and now, now she considers that being anorexic. Any kind of calorie restriction is anorexia. Any kind of trying to lose weight, trying to get healthy, that's a bad thing that needs treatment. And it's just, just one of the dumbest things I've ever heard, right? Just, just really, really dumb. Because that would mean that I'm anorexic because I live in a caloric deficit because I'm losing weight because I'm trying to get healthy and save my life. You know what? I eat plenty of food. I am well nourished. 
I do take care of myself. I do shower regularly. I do exercise. I do take my vitamins. I do try to eat better foods and make sure I get enough protein and all those things. I take good care of myself. I'm not anorexic because I live in a caloric deficit and I'm trying to lose weight. I'm trying to save my life. And then this, this whole thing about, oh, I, I'm allowed to take up space. Taking up space is a birthright and something we innately know how to do, but not everyone feels able to do it. When we take up space in the world, we occupy a physical and psychological territory. Our bodies fill the area, and our presence is felt. And I'm there for me, and I don't care about all my other friends who are suffering and dealing with any other types of eating disorders. You're the most selfish person that I've seen so far doing these videos. You should care about your, your friends who are struggling. You should be trying to help them through. But, but I guess it's a good thing that you're not helping them because you're going to completely lead them down the wrong path with, with your lies and your bullcrap. You are a selfish person, and the fact that you think that you deserve to take up space just proves the kind of trash person that you are. And I know somebody's going to say, oh, Big T, you're, you're being negative today. I got that yesterday or in, in my last video. Someone was like, Tony, you're, you're literally screaming. You're just being so negative. I, I'm sorry. i got to tune out right now. I'm like, I like piped in all this humor and, and funny stuff, and I didn't yell once, but... I guess just calling out the, the nonsense of the fat acceptance movement is too negative. I, I don't get it, but I'm going to keep doing it because it's like this stuff right here is, is what's becoming mainstream. I got a, not, another comment from somebody saying that, oh, you know, a few dumb people on TikTok, you know, it's, you, you shouldn't really take them seriously. But this is becoming a mainstream movement. It really is. This is the, the main thought bubble that is coming up today with the younger generation who says there's absolutely nothing wrong with being fat. And if you try to restrict your calories to lose weight, like Jamie Weisberg, even if you're as big as me, and I'm probably bigger than her right now, I don't know how much she weighs. Like, I'm still big, but I I've done the thing. I've lost 200 pounds. I I'm on my way. I'm actually working on it. I'm losing weight. I'm getting healthy. My life has changed dramatically. I work a full-time job and YouTube and doing all kinds of other stuff and I'm exercising. I'm actually doing the work. So I'm allowed to talk about this from experience knowing that they're full of crap. All right. So I'm going to keep doing this. I'm going to keep fighting this battle and I don't care what they think. They're absolutely ridiculous and they're leading a younger generation of, of women, mostly women who are in this movement down the wrong path and they need to be Really? Really? Ugh. There's problems with both of those people and both of those statements, like intermittent fasting and what was the other one? I forgot already. Uh, oh, raw vegan. Those are eating disorders, but they're, they're fancy names for, oh, calorie restriction. And so, you know, you try to lose weight intentionally. And so all of a sudden those things that people use to lose weight are eating disorders. Now, again, I understand that there is such thing as real anorexia and there are people with those types of eating disorders, all right? This video does not cover a single person from that issue. Like, I'm not talking about them at all. This is about obesity. That's what my channel is about. I don't have that type of eating disorder. I never have. So I don't understand that whole thing. I'm not covering that. So if you're somebody who does have an eating disorder and you did use intermittent fasting to help you keep slim or whatever it is that you're struggling with, I'm not talking to you. All right. I just want to cover that. But I am going to cover Jamie Weisberg's part where she said that losing 100 pounds was starving herself. And so that's what she claims she's in recovery from. Oh, I tried to diet intentionally and, and I lost 100 pounds, but that was starvation. I was starving myself. I was killing myself. Oh, poor me. I, I had a difficult time with it. And, and so now I'm in recovery. Just eating so much damn food that, oh man, I just can't believe it, right? Like, like, <laughs> so me losing 200 pounds was starving myself? I mean, I, I'm pretty healthy. I got people commenting on, on my hair and, and my skin and how good I look and how I'm feeling wonderful. And I posted my before picture on my community part of my channel. And everybody was like, wow, you look like two different people. I went from looking very unhealthy 
and a completely different person to someone who is much more healthy and I'm looking better every single day. Edgeworth, after knowing you for years, I can safely say that you are a hot piece of ass. So, I don't know. I mean, you losing a, a hundred pounds was a good thing, Jamie. Losing a hundred pounds is a good thing when you are a mammoth. I know. I've been there. It's changed my life in so many positive ways. There wasn't a single negative to me losing weight, and I didn't feel like I was starving myself. And guess what? As you diet and as you get into it, it gets easier. You get used to it. You only felt like you were starving yourself because you were so addicted to food that, that the thought of putting that aside so that you can get better and so that you can heal yourself and lose the weight and actually get healthy, that was such a difficult thing for you to do. So you're just saying you're, you're starving yourself. No, it's called a diet. And it's going to help you. It's the only thing that's going to help you. Eating all this food and gaining weight is not recovery. You need recovery from your obesity. You're just being absurd right now. I don't understand this thought that any kind of calorie restriction is starvation. It's not. It's not. Your body could live off of your fat alone probably for a year. I mean, you're not starving yourself. All right, let's go to the next one. Ugh, why can't you just be healthy? Like, it's not that hard. Would you go up to someone with a broken leg and say, Ugh, why can't you just be healthy? My health is none of your business, and it doesn't make me any less of a person or have any less value. Oh man, here we go again. Comparing something that happened to somebody that they had no choice over that was most likely an accident. Please break nothing, bitch. I'm gonna break their arms. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna break their legs. Versus something that you did to yourself. Maybe it took you years to do it, but you absolutely did it to yourself. And you could change if you wanted to. If you weren't so stuck in your ways, comparing weight loss to anorexia, calling it an eating disorder or starvation or anything else like that, you might actually lose weight because you do have the choice to do that. And I often get so many people like, Big T, you know, you, you just don't understand. It's so hard to lose weight. And I've lost 200 pounds. I've had those same excuses for 20 years. The same excuses, I can't do it. I am big boned. I have this issue. I have thyroid problems. I, I have a slow metabolism. But all of a sudden, when I actually intentionally lost weight and I found the right help and I did it the right way, I can lose 200 pounds? What, what's stopping me from losing weight right now? Absolutely nothing. I'm actually doing it. I'm doing the thing. All right, so there is no excuse. There is nothing, nothing that can stop you from losing weight if you want to lose weight. You can do it. I'm proof of that. You just first got to throw out the excuses. And when you realize that there are no real good excuses, that you're making up all of the crap that you want to put in your way between you and weight loss, you could actually start doing it. And so that's the thing here is, is people like Jamie want to compare her weight to somebody who broke their leg. I had no choice in the matter. I'm just fat. I've always been fat. There's nothing I can do about it. It's like somebody who broke their leg. They had no choice in the matter. They just did it. It happened. And you can't tell somebody who broke their leg to just get healthy because that's not going to work. But, but guess what? If somebody breaks their leg, they're going to be put in a cast. They're going to stay off of it. They're going to do what they can to heal and get ready. And eventually the cast comes off and they can walk again. So again, that's a stupid comparison. When you're not even trying to lose weight, you're not even trying to get healthy. You're not trying to get the cast off, so to speak. And so you can walk again. So... <laughs> Comparing o obesity to diseases or accidents or broken legs or anything like that, it it's just not a comparable situation because you can fix it. Just like you can fix a broken leg, you can fix obesity. But that's not what you want to hear today. <laughs> All right, let's go to the next one. How in the world can she say that she found recovery? 
Recovery from what? Diet culture? Losing weight? You keep getting bigger and bigger and you say, oh, I found recovery. I'm doing so much better. I'm, it, it, it's a battle, but, but I'm making it. I'm surviving through it. Like, what? You're not helping yourself at all. And then the final stretch there where she's like, yeah, I found love for myself. You don't love yourself, Jamie, because if you did, you would focus on getting healthy. You're not in any kind of recovery. I'm sorry. You're not recovering from anything. You are worse than you were before. You've been big your entire life, and you keep getting bigger, and now you're so big, you, you somehow equate your largeness to recovering from an eating disorder? Your eating disorder is still there, and it's worse than ever. I don't get this whole conversation right now. Like, you're just absolutely absurd, Jamie, to think that you're in recovery because you keep getting bigger. <sighs> this... This world is just getting worse. I, I don't know. I don't understand where the conversation's coming from. She's just trying so hard to associate herself with, with anorexia, to make it sound like she's not doing it to herself, that she's in recovery, that she's being healthy, that she's doing great. She's just feeling her body. She attributes herself to being a victim. That's what she's doing. She's being a victim. It's, it's nothing she can do. Her fatness is her recovery. And she's just battled for so long with an eating disorder, but she's never been thin. Not for a moment in her life has she been a normal size. She has no idea what she's doing to herself. I gotta repeat myself that, you know, the whole thing isn't about attributing to any type of uh, modern day beauty standard. It's, it's health, being healthy, and you're not healthy right now. You have not recovered from crap, Jamie. You're not recovered. Your eating disorder is worse than ever. And it's people like you who are ruining it for everybody else. Because while you're up there with, with Tess Holiday and, and others claiming to be anorexic, and, and now you're trying to change the spectrum of what an eating disorder is, and oh, fat people can be anorexic too. No, you can't. No, you can't. Calorie restriction is not anorexia. When you're massively obese, you're not anorexic. I'm sorry. That's just not the way it is. I don't care what ABC News tells me and Good Morning America says and all these people trying to associate with you and, and test holiday and saying that eating disorders is, is a spectrum in, in this way. No. No. You're killing yourself. You don't love yourself. You're not happy with the way your life is. Or else you, you wouldn't be trying so hard to portray yourself as a victim. But I don't know. She's just one of the worst people on the internet. But that's my video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments what you think. I love you all. I hope you have a great weekend. I will be back Monday. Um, I love you guys. God bless you.